Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures. Um, hope everybody's doing great on this Wednesday afternoon. I am going to be bringing you a quick little video about some items that I've picked up recently. And I wanted to let you know if there seems like there's a lag in the video. I did the recent update on my um, little MacBook here. And ever since then, my videos, um, when I open the QuickTime player, it's been kind of lagging a little bit, like, I don't know, running slow behind or something like that. But, um, so I wanted to show you some things that I picked up. Uh, the first thing I got just this morning, and I got four pairs of these earrings. And here's a pair right here. They're little bitty um, tigers. And I got an elephant pair. And I got little cheerleader pair. Little cheer cheerleader pair dangle earrings. These are super cute little kitty cats. Now the back side is marked, um, oh gosh, what's it called? It's marked B, no wait, let me get the pen, the pen, the magnifying glass. Okay, it is marked, let's say BG, BG, so it's, Bergdorf Gorman, let me pull it up. I'm going to show you the research. So I paid $4, paid more than I wanted to for these. I paid $4 a pair, and there were more of them. Um, but I really didn't want to list all of them or buy all of them unless I knew that they were going to sell well. So um, let me bring up that research. Sorry, guys. I really want to start over. I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes in this video. Um, but I'm scared to start it over because I don't know if my QuickTime player is going to start acting crazy again. So I'm just going to roll with it. Um, you guys know that sometimes I can be dingy. <laughs> I don't mean to be. I try to deliver some good content for you guys. So um, let's get started. Let me show you uh, the research I did here on these. Okay, so it's called Bergdorf Goodman Earrings. Now, there were not a ton of them on eBay. Um, here's a pair right here. I think most of the ones I have are marked on the back. It says 1995 BG. So um, here's a cute little uh, clam and starfish pair. It looks like they got $20 for with $3 shipping. Um, but there wasn't a ton of them that I found when I did other research. So I'm hoping to get these all listed tonight. And um, that way, if they are worth something and people are going to buy them, I can run back up to the store and grab all the rest of them. Um, there were like maybe, I don't know, six pair more. They're really cute. But like I said, I didn't want to buy all of them and spend all of that money if, um, you know, if they weren't going to be worth any good money. So um, the next thing I got, I got, let's see, I think I got like six or seven pairs of these earrings here. They are by MAM Designs. So it's M-A-M, and they're all brand new on the card. Now the tag says $6, but these were all half price. So I only paid $3 for this pair. And even on the back of the earrings, you can see they're um, marked right there, ma'am. So I got this pair. I got this cute little green pair. And this pair here is kind of like nautical, maybe, I don't know, sun, fun in the sun. Little seahorse, some sunglasses, and um, a palm tree, it looks like. And then I got... This little pink and black pair of flowers here. And not all of them, well wait, let me look. Yeah, all of them appear to be, they're all clip-on, clip-on earrings. This cute little fish pair here. And these really cute little um, stars. Oh, where am I going with this? And last pair are these little blue ones here. So they're really kind of modern, a little bit modern, modern looking to them. Like, I don't know. I need to do some more research about when they were made. I did do enough research to know that um, they are selling well on eBay. So let me show y'all that. Okay. So here they are. And whenever I do my research on eBay, I always like to... Uh, sort uh, sold listings and then I sort highest first so let's see that one says recent let's go to highest first 
Okay. All right. So here's a pair. Uh, now these, it says new 2016 design. Okay. So this must be like this designer is still, still in business, I guess. So, um, but still that's good money. Let me see if I can find an older pair here. 26. I'm only seeing the 2016 so far. Hmm. Oh gosh. Let me click on four and see what happens. Okay. Well, <clears throat> the prices for these look to be all over the board. So um, I'm still going to list every single pair I have for probably about $30 and um, see what happens. So um, I'm also hoping to get all those listed today. And I wanted to let you guys know, um, I am on Facebook. It's my personal reseller account and the link is down below in the description box. And on my Facebook page, I run challenges like, I don't know, two to three times a week, just a surprise pop-up challenge um, about seeing how many items you can list on eBay before bed. Like I might say 15 items, uh, brand new listings on eBay before bed tonight. And, um, and then it's fun and people participate and it kind of helps us to um, keep each other motivated um, and accountable so we can all uh, grow our inventory on eBay. Friends helping friends be successful is what I like to call it. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is I got also picked up this little uh, brooch here and it's also a pendant uh, to me it looks like it's colonial uh, maybe he has like a guitar or something and he's serenading that lady there um, I paid three dollars for it and as best I can tell when I looked at the a hallmark the the name right there with my magnifying glass it says um, I think it says Jerry's and I looked them up and yeah it's not doing too well let me show you um, but that's okay I'll still list it anyway and get my money back. Oh, I don't think I can drag that over here. Well, let me close this. We already talked about that. Okay. Can I move this screen, I wonder? Oh, I can move this part. Okay, so I'll just pull this up. Okay, here it goes. So, um, Jerry's pendant brooch. Well, what the heck did I type in? Let me go see what I typed in up here. <laughs> did I spell it wrong? No, I think that's how you spell it. Anyway, okay. So, sorry, y'all. I was uh, thinking out loud there for a second. So, probably not a ton of money, but um, it's okay. It's still really pretty, and I don't see any like my piece, so... I don't know, I might kind of go on the higher end, maybe $14.99, maybe even $19.99, just because I think the content of the piece is a little unique um, with that man and that lady there. So, um, yeah, okay, so the next item I wanted to show y'all is, and I don't know anything about this type of stuff at all. Um, this is a wood kaleidoscope, and I picked it up for $3, and... Um, this is, I guess, uh, where you see the neat stuff when, like, whenever you look inside of it. And um, it's marked here on the bottom, but I can't make it out. It looks like it might say, like, I don't know, Hollier or something like that, 98. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but this is just one of those things. I really was in a hurry when I was in the store. I didn't have a lot of time to look it up. And for $3, I thought it was a really neat piece, and um, I couldn't go wrong either way. You know, my kids can play with it and mess around with it, even if I don't sell it. But I did look at the uh, completed solds on eBay, so let me show you that. Okay, and again, the prices um, really have a big range here. Some are pretty expensive. Um, the smaller ones... Look to go for about $25, $30, and I think I'm going to start mine at $29.99, and I might even do an auction. Sometimes if I'm not familiar with um, an item that I'm selling and I don't know a lot about it, 
I'll put it up as a seven day auction instead of a buy it now um, type of listing because um, that way, you know, if it actually turns out to be worth some money, um, you won't, you won't get, uh, you know, you won't get screwed for a better word. <laughs> okay, so the last item I want to show y'all, let me close this one out. The last item I wanted to show y'all is this snow, vintage snowman uh, blow mold that I picked up. So I picked him up at Goodwill yesterday, and he was $20. He's huge. I'm so excited. So um, in the past, I've sold these uh, Christmas blow molds before. I've actually sold two in my antique booth. Um, and they usually sell, I think the past two that I've had have sold for $59.99. So I did a little bit of research on this guy. And let me show you. Um... Okay, so again, I, I searched the solds, uh, completed, and highest first. So look at this guy here. He looks to be a little bit bigger than mine, and he's um, also motorized and lights up. Now mine lights up, it just doesn't move. So these vintage bolt blow molds are definitely something to be on the lookout for. Now here's one like mine, exactly like mine. Um, the coloring looks to be a little bit better, though. So mine's just a little bit more faded. So this one's extremely faded, and they got $159 for it. So mine is somewhere in the middle between the extremely faded and the one that looks like it's been kept inside. Um, so with this one, I really don't want to hassle with shipping it on eBay. So chances are I'll probably put it in my antique booth for about, I don't know, maybe $149.99. I'll have to... Uh, I don't know, I'll have to give it some, some thoughts. So um, again, it's really big. Let me see if I can show you some more of it. So this is, so see my, the color is still pretty good on it. It doesn't look like it's faded. Uh, oh, it doesn't look like it's faded too bad. So um, yeah, I'm super excited about that. I always pick those up whenever I see them. And I got a Halloween blow mold um, at a church garage. So I think I paid $2 for it. It's been on my antique booth, but it's not selling. So um, hopefully it'll sell before Halloween. If not, I might bring it home and uh, store it in my attic until next year. So um, that is my video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my pickups. Um, so again, remember, go friend me on Facebook, my reseller account. Uh, the link is down below so that you can participate in the little pop-up challenges that I do. I love to um, hear from you guys what you're listing and um, how much, you know, what your goals are. All that stuff is always fun to hear. Um, and let's see, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. So um, Monday, this coming Monday, it's uh, October the 17th. I asked uh, Margaret of Texas Scout Treasures if she wants to go over to the place where I just got my storage unit because they are going to be having some um, auctions. So there are four people who did not pay for their units. And, you know, I watched that show. Oh, I'm going to forget what it's called now. Is it um, Storage Wars, I think? I can't remember. But I used to be really big into that show. Loved watching that. So I'm excited. And um, so I asked her to go, and she said yes. And so we're going to go over there and um, check that out Monday. Hopefully we'll be able to make a little bit, um, you know, film a little little bit of it so that you you guys can see what it's like um, to actually go to the, one of those. So that's all I got for you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to me. Um, like the video and uh, comment down below. Tell me what things you're picking up. If you picked up any good jewelry lately, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.